look at on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. And I'm Chuckalicious, Chuck Williams. Oh, my good friend, Quentin Marquez, joins us today. He's with the City Federal Credit Union. A big, big weekend planned ahead for these folks. Uh, uh, just a point of uh, information here. Uh, Quentin's out on traveling for business. He's at the famous Piedmont Hotel. If you haven't heard about this, every day they have a parade of ducks. Yeah. They come in beautiful grand hotel. Uh, the staff moves aside. They're the honored guests that come in and out the door. Uh, so uh, this this Friday, though, uh, Quentin's going to be honoring some folks in another way. And maybe we can get the ducks to come walking in and bring in fajitas in for us. But uh, <laughs> uh, the City Federal Credit Union is uh, the sponsor of this year's Fajita Fest. Uh, lots of things going on. Uh, Quentin, just, just for the people's knowledge, break down what Fajita Festival is. Well, first of all, good morning to everybody. Uh, Fajita Festival is thrown on by the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. It's a lot of different organizations coming together to uh, celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. And so we, we we have fajitas we're cooking up. There's a fajita uh, contest to see who makes the best fajita. Mm. We have other... Uh, Stuff going on for Politico dancers are dancing. We got some uh, Proyecto Cumbia coming back to Amarillo after 20 years of being gone. The last time they performed here, they were actually the Cumbia Kings and they played at the Dilla Villa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Cumbia Kings. Famous, famous. That's been, a, that's been a minute ago. Yes, 20 years ago. So they, they wow. formed a, a new group. They're called Proyecto Cumbia, but they still play all the original Cumbia King hits. So it's the original Kings. From the original album, so it's the original voices that are playing those hits that we all know and love. You know, normally when I think of fajitas or something like that, I get hungry. Like, I'm hungry right now, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, j j just, hey, how many ways can I do a fajita? Honestly, uh, it, it's an art. It's an art. you got to be able to uh, marinate it the right way. There's seasonings. There's different ways of cooking it. Right. Uh, there's different toppings that you can put on it. So there's a different different way that different folks do it. So it's really great to see everybody come together and see who makes the, the best fajita taco. So the best fajita is in my imagination then. That's it. It's all to the to the taster, I guess. Well, what else is going to be different about this year's event, uh, Quinn? Well, so it's going to be at the Starlight Ranch, uh, where it's been the past couple of years. But now, instead of being at the, the the front stage, it's going to be actually in the big field. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're on stage. Uh, Proyecto Cumbia is going to fill it up, and we're going to have some awesome fajitas, and we're going to have a great, great time. Let me let me ask you this last question uh, real quick for you. Uh, why is it important we support things like the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce? Well, the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce does so much for not only Hispanic businesses, but just local businesses. So it's really great to support the folks that are supporting everybody else. We go out to the community. We make sure that everybody that's a member of our, our Chamber of Commerce is doing okay, that they're getting the proper support they need, and they are, they're getting what they need to make sure their business runs great. And we all know in Amarillo, uh, businesses, whether that's local or corporate or anything like that, the, the better businesses do, the better the community does. Yeah. That's it. it. It lifts the tie, and you, you're 100% correct on that, uh, Quentin. You don't want to miss it. It's the 2023 Fajita Festival. It'll take place out at a great place, the Starlight Ranch. Bobby Lee always does it up. If you've been in years past, boy, it gets huge. Well, right. this year, they've got some more room. They're going to spread you out in the big field out there. Come try new fajitas. They're going to be have a fajita uh, t taste testing competition. Uh, there's going to be great music, tons of activities, and you support a great cause and a great neighborhood. Uh, the great folks put this together. It kicks off this Friday. What time does it start, Quentin? Or the gates will open at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Where can they get tickets in advance? But they could get them on Amigos, or they could simply go to the uh, Emerald Chamber, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and uh, go to their website and get tickets there. We can't wait to see people uh, show up. It's going to be great to celebrate the Hispanic culture in so many different ways, music and food and just a good time. All right. That's the 2023 Fajita Fest. We got to get out of here. You know the rules. Be kind, be careful. We'll see you tomorrow right here. Thanks.